Welcome back to Cure for the Common Game. Today, in deck number 666, we're going to talk about Demon Lord Belzenlock. That's right. It is tribal, and we all know it. This is a tribal demon deck, and I could not think of a better commander other than a Demon Lord Belzenlock. This is one of Liliana's, um, the last demon that she made a pact with to uh, her four demons that she had. She ended up killing them all. Not that it mattered a whole lot to her, but, you know, it's a different story. Here we have a 6-mana six 6-6 six, six flying trampling commander. Uh, Elder Demon, so you can still play EDH. Anyway, um, Bells and Lock, I, to be honest with you, er, ever since Dominaria came out, I, uh, you know, threw it in a box and had was ready, but I couldn't ever... Couldn't figure out how I wanted to build it around that ability. When Bezalog enters the battlefield, exile cards from the top of your library until you exile a non-land card. Then put that card into your hand. The card's CMC is four greater. Repeat this, and he's going to deal one damage to you for each card put in your hand this way. So, <clears throat> I don't know. There's, there's several different ways. I pretty much ignored that ability. Yeah, I may get a card or two off of it, and that's cool, but... It is tribal demons. And because it is tribal demons, we are going to need... I didn't finish sorting out all the cards. Um, so, we're going to need some ramp here, right? Okay. Now I'm ready. We have... Well, quite a bit, I'll say. We have Soul Ring. Charcoal Diamond. You know, you got to have the Dark Ritual, right? I mean, it's Dark Ritual. Uh, Pillar of Origins. Commander Sphere. Spectral Searchlight is going to give us that black mana. And it's great in Kingdoms. I know it's been a few days since I've said that. but Worn Power Stone. Seer's Lantern. Solemn Simulacrum. Colony Gem. Sisse's Ring and Dreamstone Hedron, because typically your demons are not that cheap, right? Um, we have some card draw, uh, quite a bit actually. It's black, so we're going to pay life for it, you know. Uh, Sign and Blood, Underworld Connections, Phyrexian Arena, that it for some reason is not in a perfect fit. Um, Read the Bones, Ambitions Cost. Promise of Power. This just seemed perfect. Uh, I mean, um, you can... It's paying life for cards, and you get a demon token. The name is spot-on theme. Sanguimancy. Damnable Pact. There again, spot-on flavor. Uh, okay, we'll, we'll go ahead and show you the card that you know is, is in there. Liliana's Contract. Yeah, you draw four and lose four, and that's cool. But at the beginning of your upkeep, if you control four or more demons with different names, you win the game. Yeah, so that's a real thing. Uh, it's, it's, it may be our best win condition because, let's face it, demons are typically very large and very hard to keep around. So, uh, shall we get to them? Eh, might as well. We have Spawn of Mayhem. Now, keep in mind... First and foremost, I chose these because they were demons. Period. End of story. Um, Mind Rack Demon. Did I actually put these in converted mana cost order? I sure did. Look at that. Demon of Catastrophes. You get a sack of creature, but you know, hey, it's a 6-6 six, six flying trapper for four. Okay. Uh, Demon of Wailing Agonies. Lieutenant. Man, I love Dances with Wolves. That was... I need to watch that again. Um, anyway. Deals combat damage. Sacrifice creature. Indulgent Tormentor. Archfiend of Depravity. Stronghold Overseer. This card makes me laugh. And it has always made me laugh since Time Spiral. Um, and I'll tell you why. Flying is a pretty good evasion ability. Shadow is a really good... It, evasive ability it's got both 
Do you know how many creatures in the game have flying and shadow naturally? You're looking at it. This is it. The Overseer's the only one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Reaper from the Abyss. Harvester of Souls. You know, get another card draw. Carnifex Demon. Demon of Loathing. Eater of Hope. Abhorrent Overlord. Because, you know, you got to have Harpies. Reaver Demon. Now, this one is pretty sweet. Destroy all non-artifact, non-black creatures. Nice. And then the Kuro Pit Lord is the the nine drop. <laughs> so now I want to talk about, you know, things that are kind of adjacent to demons. You know, we have Bloodspeaker. I like Bloodspeaker. Uh, at the beginning of your upkeep, you can sack it to search your library for a demon, put it in your hand, and then when you play a demon, you get the blood speaker back. Yeah, it's kind of mana intensive. You got to keep recasting it, but hey, you get to keep recasting it, right? Uh, some cards just felt to me like they belonged in the deck. Um, Demonic Embrace. Now, turning things into demons is not that big of a deal when they're already demons. I, I, I get it. Uh, plus three, plus one. Uh, I like the ability to, you know, flying. I think they all or most have flying. Um, you know, most of them do. But this just felt like it needed to be in the deck. Kind of like Infernal Offering, right? I mean, it's an Infernal Offering. Um, there is a Demonic Rising. If you control exactly one creature, which may not happen, but it's still in there. Um, demonic Consultation is a card that you know it needs to it is risky if you don't have you know a plan if you're just playing it on theme like i am oh oh <laughs> it's risky um infernal tutor uh, it, it just sounds like it's supposed to be in there um consume spirit intimidation Corrupt. It's not bad for Mono Black. Underworld Dreams. Okay. Victimize. All decent cards, but they really, really fit the theme. Um, now we're going to get off on cards that I just wanted in there. You know, I guess No Rest for the Wicked could all also fit the theme. Uh, Bad Moon, we're playing Mono Black. Power of Heroes, we can go up the chain. Of, uh, of demons. Uh, do have a Tainted Strike. Because, you know, it's Tainted Strike. Uh, Vampiric Tutor. Mainly the tutors are in there for, you know, to go and get probably Liliana's Contract. Or maybe even Tainted Strike. Whatever, you, you know, whatever you need at the time. Now, this is a Diabolic Tutor. And I know, I know, no, no. This is supposed to be a Demonic Tutor. Uh, but that card has gotten, um, what's the nice way, prohibitively expensive. <laughs> so this is my stand-in for Demonic Tutor. Uh, probably the next Demonic Tutor I'll get. I mean, thematically, it needs to be in this deck. Um, Exhume and Rise from the Grave to help get some things back. Then we have a, a little bit of removal. We're playing mono black, and nothing's better for it than feed the swarm. I mean, destroy target enchantment. Uh, I don't care. I will lose that ten life to get rid of that omniscience every single time. Even if it kills me, it'll help the table, right? <laughs> Death mark, vendetta, cast down, doom blade, murder. I put in a dark banishing because it. There again, it sounds like it thematically fits. Dark Banish. Um, and then I only have five non-basic lands, or, you know, non-swamp lands. Reliquary Tower. We are drawing it. I mean, there's a bunch of card draw. Uh, some cycle lands, you know, the Barren Moor. Uh, Desert of the Glorified. A Path of Ancestry. Yeah, it's tribal. And then Karn's Bastion, because there's that one card that has... Um, 
you know, infect. So might as well, right? So try to do this a little better than the last one. Uh, but that is Tribal Demons. Um, I, I, I had, I was kind of waffling back and forth on whether, whether or not this deck number would be demons or beasts or even something like completely flipped like angels or I mean I don't, no way of knowing what I was going to do so um, I am kind of liking this taller uh, the taller tripod it's not as convenient because it doesn't fit like on the desk it sits on the tape or on the floor but you get a bigger shot of the wall that way but anyway, that is deck number 666, finally done, and I've got one more built. I, I guess I've got to got to get to building, don't I? Uh, what is next here? Oh yeah, the next video is another one of the um, Walking Dead secret layer. So if that's not your thing, feel free to skip it, I understand. <clears throat> try to do something different with it than I've never done before but mm. anyway uh, I do appreciate y'all watching liking subscribing and uh, definitely subscribe if you're watching this far and not already subscribed click the little button hit the plus thing as they say uh, <laughs> but right now we're gonna shuffle and cut